Welcome back. So starting out this week, I was tasked with uh, creating some brackets uh, for Brit that he can weld onto the bottom or the back side of the rudder pedals. Uh, he wasn't really that excited about the little tabs that I created for him a while back because uh, the jig that I created for alignment wasn't that great. So um, the job was to create some better brackets for him. So here I'm using the CNC to cut out the brackets from um, a piece of square uh, uh, yeah, square aluminum tubing and the brackets are basically like little C-channels so there'll be um, four C-channels for each of the rudder pedals and then some upper ones for the brakes as well so this is what it looks like there um, cutting out the first side there and you've seen me kind of do these before I used a similar technique when I was uh, creating some of the stuff for the uh, rudder pedals assembly um, themselves so there you can see um, that's one side there the first one was just a test, so basically four or eight different brackets there. And four will be long and the other uh, four will be short. And the long ones are to connect the rudder pedals to the legs and the short ones are to connect the rudder pedals um, to the brake actuators. So you'll see how I do those here in a minute. But now as you can see I've switched to the other side now and just um, drilling the same holes and cutting out the same shapes. And just about getting done here. So this time now I'm actually on the um, side in between and I'm just cutting these little slots there which allow me to uh, have a nice um, uniform length for the short brackets as you'll see once I cut them out. So this is what it looks like uh, now that I've got it off the machine and the last job now is to uh, cut out the actual brackets on the bandsaw. And by cutting out the end there, or cutting off the end there, I have access to everything because that little center section just sort of um, pulled out of place there. So it made it easy for me. So there's my lines there, scribe lines there for where I'm actually going to be cutting with the bandsaw. So just got to hit, hit those and then they'll create all the brackets for me. So you can see I've cut the short ones out now. So those are basically half brackets that all sort of butt up next to each other um, for the brake actuator. And then the other ones are the long ones. And I got all those cleaned up using the countersink tool. So the next job now is to create a couple of little similar brackets and these ones are for the side sticks um, that I mentioned uh, in the last video to connect them to the elevator torque tube because those other forks that I had were just uh, that one there that was too narrow and it was a little bit too long so I decided to create my own and uh, that's, it needs to fit that uh, rod end in there and that doesn't fit so it'll actually fit in there nicely. So that's the task at hand. And as you can see, I've got those cut out. I just need to round off the corners and then uh, drill the holes in the back side there so they can mount up to uh, the spindles and then uh, assemble everything. And as you can see, I've got those together there now. So the job now is to put them back onto the side sticks, but I also need to adjust the length on those right ends there, that gold one sitting there on the table, that guy there. That's a little bit uh, too long. I need to make it as short as I can in order to give me the, the most amount of throw. So I just uh, cut those a little bit and uh, got them sort of connected together again uh, after I cut them and also put a locking nut on there so that's all sorted out and that's all ready to go in the aircraft now so this is what that looks like now of course you saw this a little bit the other day but now that i've got that um that new fork on there and the linkage connected i just got that setting in there the, the hardware holding that together is just temporary just got it loose right now and I also have the aileron or one of the aileron rods uh hooked up there so now you can see both the motion so that's the elevator motion there and that's the aileron motion there so that's kind of how it all works, all up behind the dash there. So getting that all sorted out, and uh, Britt showed up there with um, those spades that he had welded up for us. So those look really nice. Although we do actually need to make 
an adjustment to those which will be happening uh, tomorrow. So that's kind of where that's going to live in the bottom of the aileron there. So Jeff had to cut an access panel because he'd already closed out that one aileron. Uh, anyway, so that's going to happen. And here Jeff is working on trimming and uh, just finishing off the um, spades there that actually get bolted to the bottom of the spades or these little tabs. They're actually the a counterweight that's a quarter inch. Uh, 4130 so it just adds some extra weight there to balance the aileron. And the guys got the last two of these ribs. I thought uh, on Friday they'd actually got them done. But anyway, they got them done there, there yesterday. So that's all of them now. And those ones have just got to cure up. And uh, Jeff will be ready to start doing some more work there on the elevators. And now we're on to Tuesday today. And my job is to work on more of the flight control. So uh, creating another little um, bracket today. So this is the one that mounts up to the end of the uh, linear actuator that's going to be for the trim control for the elevator. So there's my little bracket that I created and that goes through there and uh, with a AN4 bolt to hold it in place. And then that gets bolted up to our little hook um, thing, spring thing that we created a long time ago there. That's it there. So that's basically how that gets bolted up there. Just drilled some holes through that and that's just a uh, fiberglass hook there that just basically acts as a spring so um, yeah I actually just had it sitting there so now I've got it clamped in place and just going to drill those holes through there uh, for the mounting so the idea for this uh, trim uh, actuator here is to provide um, you know force there to keep the elevator trimmed instead of uh, using like a trim tab like you would normally do on most other aircraft and Jeff's here working on uh, figuring out the ribs there, the hard point ribs uh, that actually mount that spade. Uh, they have to be bonded into place there and give something uh, for the spade to bolt to. So he's working on that. And I mentioned a long time ago that we're going to be having a bunch of cameras on board. And these um, are some camera mounts that we're going to actually be able to move around on the outside of the aircraft. They're, you know, these nice strong ones that, you know, you can mount your... Um, action cam to whatever and we have this I have three of the Sony action cam so I'm actually putting five different hard points uh, into the fuselage that one's in the top of the scoop so we'll actually be able to put a camera on and face it any direction you know from the very top of the aircraft there or top of the cabin and then there's this one here that's going to be uh, in the nose hatch and so that'll be there on the left hand side and you'll be able to point the camera forward or backwards or sideways out on to you know look out on the foreplane or whatever so you get a bunch of different angles there and uh, this one here is in the baggage compartment yeah and it's going to be sort of you can bolt the camera underneath there so you'll actually have a view where you'll be able to see underneath which would be kind of neat that's sort of like the view will be right there what the camera is showing right now so that'll be um, pretty neat and again you can turn it in any direction you can look out the side if you want or look out the back and uh, the cameras I have are the Sony action cams and you can act uh, you can uh, trigger them all at once. So this is um, what the view will be sort of like on that camera there on the nose. Um, and again, we'll be able to sort of point it in any direction. And then we're going to have two different hard points there in the wings as well. So as you can see, Devin's in the process of putting in the hard point for that and Jeff's giving him a hand. So uh, yeah, we have five different hard point mounts and all we have to do, they're just quarter 20 threads and we just screw those brackets to them and then mount the camera to the mounting brackets and um, press the remote control and away you go and by the end of the day today I made quite a bit of progress in the cabin there as you can see I've got that linear actuator in place now still need to put the final mounting screws on that bracket that it's resting in and I've got some of the other bits of dash in there just um, in place just to help things get aligned got um, things with the autopilot sorted out. I'm going to create the linkage for that tomorrow and let us see what else did I get done yeah I've got the actuator um, actually working here just you know hooking some power up to it so you can see what happens now when I hook power up to the linear actuator it'll actually pull the stick um, back out sort of just basically affecting a nose up uh, attitude trim so just watching that you can see it's slowly moving they are pulling inwards and that's pushing or pulling the stick out towards the camera so it's kind of how that works and of course the trim is actuated um, just by the hat, uh, hat switch on the uh, that's on the stick on the side stick and the spring is just there so you can kind of 
fight it a little bit like normal trim um, but overall it'll pretty much hold wherever you uh, set the trim to be so that's kind of how that's working so anyway that's our update for the first half of this week and uh, tune in again on saturday and uh, see what more progress we make towards uh, getting this thing all done and together and please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, give us a like and thanks again for watching Thank you.